said, nobody like you, Lord. Yeah. I just came by today to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. You've been bad to me than what I meant to myself. And I just come by and tell somebody, God is a good God. Yeah. God is an awesome God. God is the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the first yeah. and the last. He's the beginning and the end. Yeah. He's there. Nobody. When nobody
that said, if you just touch the hem of his garment, and I ask you to those on the sick, just reach up and touch the hem of his garment. Just reach up and touch and let him know that I'm touching. We come touching and bring it and heal it right now in the name of Jesus. I'm Deacon Harley. words that I will people that they're virtual and those here in the building. I want you to know this here right here. Say, you know, the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. And you know he said, he made you lie down in green pastures. And he also said he, he leaded you beside the still waters. The Lord also said he restores your soul. And he also said he leaded you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He said, yeah, no. You walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You shall feel no evil. For he is with you. He said, his, his rod and his staff shall prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And he shall not at your head of all. He said, surely goodness and mercy yes, sir. shall follow you all the days of your life. And said, you will dwell in the house of the Lord. May the God have a blessing to that word. And I know it's going to go out to somebody. And Father God, we come to you today. We say, Our Father, which are the other? We say, How do be thy holy name? Father, we ask you this day to give us our daily prayer, Father God. For this day, we're not worried about tomorrow. we think about now. Father God, I ask you the one that don't have a sickness, the one that don't have a sickness, I ask you to touch him with the mighty hand of Jesus. Jesus, I ask you to put your love and arm around and let them know you got them, Father God. And those that are going through trials and tribulations, Father God, I ask you to just swoop down, open up your right arm, and just let them know it's all right. It's all right. And those that are going through the bereavement, I just want them to know that God got them too. God got them too. So all you got to do is put your hand in the hand of God and let God be your hand in your life and lead and guide you. And Father, as we pray today, we ask you to touch the pastor in a mighty, mighty way. So when he bring us a word, Father God, it penetrates our heart. So we can go and use it in the world, Father God, to fight, fight for you, Father God. And there's a lot going on in this world, Father God, that we don't understand. Like the, the, the disease, this pandemic, it's getting worse, Father God, and coming and going, Father God. But we know you in control, so we're going to put it in your hands, Father God. We going to ask you to open up your arm and open up your life, Father God, and let it shine down on this situation. Cleanse us, Father God, and cleanse it, Father God, and move it, move it from us, Father God. So this is a world thing, Father God. First of all, we ask you to forgive us, Lord. Forgive us of all our sins and all our transgressions. And we know we haven't did the things that you told us to do, and some things you told us not to do. We did them anyhow. We will ask for forgiveness this morning, and we ask you, God, to just move, move, move on your world, Father God. You created any and everything in this world, Father God. It's your I read the Bible and say you created good and the evil, Father God. So we got a choice. And you said we're going to choose life or choose death. So we choose the life today, Father God. Life in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Father God. And Father God, I pray for any church, every place we open in your name, Father God. Let us start teaching the word. And the word be the word. And the word be the word. What it is, what it is. Because the Bible is true. The Bible is true. So we're going to praise you today, we're going to lift you up today, and we're going to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody out there say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah to your name. Amen. And amen. Thank you, my God. Thank you, God.
virtual land, come on, just lift your hands to him and say, Lord, I will bless thee with a heart of thanksgiving. Because we're coming around to the Thanksgiving holiday, and God wants us to have a heart of gratitude. Amen? Amen. And as I was preparing for today, um, I always want to listen to what God is saying. Because I take, I don't take what I do lightly before the Lord. Amen. Um, just being a prophetic minister before him. I know so many of you out there have anxiety. There's so many things going on. You're thinking about the election. You're thinking about the state of our country. But just understand that God has America in his hands. Amen. And he has you in his hands. And so one of the other things that I heard the Lord saying is that he said he just wants us to draw closer to him. Because even during this season, many of you have dropped off just a little bit with your devotional time, spending time with the Lord, and he just wants to be close to you, and he wants you to draw close to him. And so I just want to minister to you this morning, and I want you to get closer to the Lord, amen? Because when you think about it, when you get around somebody, you get closer to them, you can smell their fragrance, amen? When you get closer to them, you get to have conversations with them, you get to know them. And so that's what God wants today. Sometimes we're thinking about, Lord, you know, should I have a lofty prayer? How many chapters should I read? Sometimes you just have to sit there and say, Lord, I just want to be close to you. Amen? Amen. And that's all he wants from us is intimacy. It's not the fancy prayers. It's not the 10 chapters a day. Some of us are on a regimen, and God is saying, you don't have to be that religious. He's saying it's just about relationship. Amen? So I'm just going to minister in the way that to me.
give your body to God. Come on and give God praise. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit has already preached. Amen. Yes. Yes. I wish I had a witness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't apologize, but I'm just a worshiper, amen, because I, I, I come to the realization that the fact is that after all this, I wish I had a witness. Ain't going to be no preaching, ain't going to be no teaching, ain't going to be none of that that, that is declared that when we all get to heaven, we'll stand around the throne and worship God and give him praise for all eternity. So, so if you can't get with it down there, I ought to tell people you'll be miserable if you make it up there. Amen. Thank you. 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 Are free and you free, yes. you don't have to say nothing to each other, but your spirits begin to communicate. I wish I had a witness yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I love this intimacy, there's yes. a spirit of intimacy in this place. And yes. this, 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 this almost overwhelming. Matter of fact, it's already a gut being, and I'm going to try to preach, but I, I, I'm serious. I can just stay right here. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Because there's a sweet anointing that's going through this house. Not only this house, I promise you that there's people now, even in virtual man who's weeping uh, and worshiping and praising God because uh, that's how the Holy Spirit works. You don't have to be in the same building amen, to get connected to the uh, same God. You don't have to be in the same building to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit because the God we serve is an omnipresent God. He's everywhere at the same time. Yes, sir. Johnson, we thank God for your spirit and your, yes. your faithfulness to this place, amen. Yes. I'm a witness today that God honors faithful, yes. faithfulness, amen. Amen. To the deacons and yes. the deepest servant leaders and again to the music of the department. We thank God for you. Come on, get down my hand, please. I got back in town, uh, I think it was Tuesday. Friday night services for the next few weeks, uh, and, and I was just, I just have been meditating on the Word of God, and God uh, uh, has had me in the Psalms, amen, and, and there's something about the Psalms, uh, the melodies of God, amen, that, that yeah. does something yeah. to me, I don't know about you, but to me, and, 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 and a few times a year, I'm do is I read through the whole Psalms, amen, all of the Psalms, and, and I'll do it again, amen, because uh, there's something about the Psalms that, that just yes, does something to me. I can't explain it, but it's just, it's just something about the Psalms, and even this morning I was in the Psalms, and I was sitting there, I had prepared a sermon, amen, and uh, I was going to do what I thought God wanted me to do, but uh, he led me over to Ephesians, amen. Uh, because when we look at the situation that's arrived in our country, amen, and uh, not only our country, but in our world, amen, we're, we're, we're dealing with some rough stuff, amen. Uh, uh, we're dealing with some things that uh, most of us have never had to deal with before, amen. And God said, Moses, that uh, there's some people, uh, some of my people who are ready to throw in the town. There's, there's some people, my people, amen, who, who don't understand there's some of my people goes uh, who, who's at the point of, uh, of destruction. Uh, they love me goes and, and, and they appreciate me and they trust me, but their, uh, their, their, their emotions are starting to get the best of them goes. And goes, I need you to do something for me today. He said, just inform them that we can then do it for a night, but yes, if they can just hold, I wish I had a witness this morning. Joy Bowles, just tell them that, 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 that this is just a temporary situation. Uh, just tell them, Bowles, that 
I'm trying to draw them close to me, boys, because sometimes boys are, are, are people, they, they, they get arrogant and they get beside themselves, and they have to allow things to happen in order for them to understand that there's nobody but me that they can trust on. You say, Paul, tell them, don't give up. Paul, tell them that. Don't give me it, Paul. Tell them that. Don't go in the towel, but just say it. Come on here now. Yes, sir. The Holy Spirit led me to Ephesians to the sixth chapter, amen. For those of you who need a title, I, I tag this thing. Now what? Now what? And then in the form of a question, now what? Amen. On Ephesians, amen, 6 and 10. Amen. Ephesians 6 and 10. It reads this way, amen. I'm just going to read a, a few of the verses, amen. Uh, it reads this way, if you don't mind. Let's keep standing in your surroundings to the word of God, amen. Amen. It's such a sweet anointing in this place. Yes, it is, God. Oh, beautiful. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, God. Ah. Ephesians 6 and 10. Ah. The epistle of Paul, amen, who was writing to the church of Ephesus. They had been wrestling with some things. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever been through some stuff, can I get a witness? Yeah. If you've ever been and had your back up against the wall, you all find solace in these words that Paul penned to the church of Ephesus. Amen. It says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Amen. So you, you ain't got to do it on your own accord, but be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Watch this. For we wrestle not oh have mercy on me against flesh and blood. Can I say that again? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You're, you're fighting with me. Can I get away? You're fighting with them. Uh, uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yes, and having all, or having done all, to say, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, my brothers and sisters, I stopped by this morning to encourage us uh, uh, by orders of uh, God himself, amen, because I am his servant, man, amen. I have given him lordship over my life, amen. He did not just call me, but he chose me yeah. to do his bid. I wish I had a witness of that. I stopped by this morning to tell uh, uh, my brothers and sisters here in this place and my brothers and sisters in virtual land, and my brothers and sisters all around, not just the country, but around the world, to say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can I be a witness? Yes, uh, we need to understand that, 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 that things happen for a reason. Yes, sir. Uh, so, somebody said to me the other day, I, I wish I had more faith, but I told them, I said, baby, let me tell you something. When you begin to ask God, for more faith. What you're really doing is asking God to put you through more stuff. Because you can't obtain more faith without going through some trials and tribulations. I wish y'all talking to me this morning. I understand, my brothers and sisters, that, that this pandemic is for real. Can I get a witness? I understand, my brothers and sisters, that the thing that's taking place in Washington, D.C. and in our country are real. Now the witness, uh, 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 there's a lot of first time stuff that have taken place. Uh, uh, there's a lot of good things that have taken place. But there's also a lot of bad things that have taken place. But I still hear the Lord say, quit looking to uh, uh, Washington. Quit looking to the White House. Stop looking to the medical people uh, for your answer. Uh, but if my people yes, sir, yeah. who I call them my name was humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked way. Then will I hear from heaven. 
from heaven to forgive their sins and heal yes, their yes, yes, word, yes, word. Uh, The brother Paul is trying to help us to get through these hard times. Can I get a witness? Uh, we need to understand that, that, that he's trying to encourage us not to give up. He's encouraging us not to give in, but he's encouraging us to hold on a little while longer because help is on the way. If I, if I never had a problem, Brother Deacon, I, 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 I wouldn't know that God could solve them. I, I wouldn't know that what faith in God could do, but through it all, through it all, uh, and a lot of folk, uh, through all of this, I'm going to learn to trust in Jesus. I wish I had a witness. I will learn to trust in God through it all. Through it all, God. Through it all. Here's a general exhortation to the constancy in our Christian course. And to encourage in our Christian warfare. Yes, sir. Y'all do understand that we are in a battle. Yes, sir. Now, you do understand that we are at war. And, and, and I'm here to tell you that even in war, there will be some casualties. Yes, sir. Come on here, Can I get a witness to understand that that's all right? Because we have a hospital called the house of God that where we can go to and be fixed up to go back on the battlefield. Uh, yeah, it's a Christian warfare going on. It is not our life a warfare? Yes. Yes, it is, though. Is it so? For we struggle with the common calamities of human life? Is it not our religion, much more a warfare? Is it so? For we struggle, amen, with the opposition of the powers of darkness and with many enemies who would keep us from God and heaven. Matter of fact, their job is to deter us and to make us turn around. Y'all don't want to talk to me about my preaching. Y'all don't want to let you go. Amen. Uh -uh. We need to understand that, that he did not promise that every day would be sunshine. Facts about it. I like the way James Cleveland, I think it was, uh, one of the guys said, I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. But baby, may I suggest this to you. If you were trying to come up on the smooth side, if you begin to fall, you would have nothing to hold on to. Come on. Come on. Coming up on the rough side. We need to understand here today that, that, that the writer is trying to encourage us that, 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 that there will be things that will try to deter us. You put a note right there, a pen right there. Uh, you do understand that God did give the enemy power in this world. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, his job is to what? Kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 understand that salvation is free. But it costs to be a disciple. <laughs> I wish I had a witness this morning. Uh, it costs something to say that you're a disciple of Christ. You don't believe it? Watch this. Uh, uh, the Bible says. Yes, sir. If you're going to follow me, you must what? First, deny, deny yourself. yourself. A lot of us have a problem denying ourselves because we want what we want when we want what we want. I wish I had a witness. A lot of us have allowed our, our emotions and our flesh to rule how we live. But baby, if you're going to follow Christ, you must first deny yourself. And one of the hardest things there is to do if you're not practicing and the precept and practicing the Christ, if you're not or don't understand what it is to fast, uh, it's hard to deny yourself. I got a witness. Yes, sir. Thanksgiving is coming up, and a whole lot of folks go eat some stuff uh, that they know they ought not eat. They're going to they deny themselves from them chitterlings. <laughs> I got a witness. Yes, they, they, they know the doctor said don't eat all them sweet, but they're going to eat chocolate cake, sweet potato pie, or uh, lemon cake, peach pie. Come on, can I get a witness? Can we just be honest with each other? <laughs> the says that there's a lot of stuff we ought not eat, amen. And, and I used to love that stuff, but a whole lot of us know we ain't got no business eating that bones and pig feet. Deny yourself. Uh -huh. and, and the Bible said that if you're going to follow me, Moses, you must first learn how to deny yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what the Bible teaches. Come on, amen. Yeah. I wish you. Which is what my counterparts would teach and preach on fasting. Yes, yes. Because fasting.
conditions the body to be able to deny yourself. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, when this yes, sir. Uh, fasting conditions the spirit to be in tune with God. That's why the Bible says you must what? Fast and pray. pray. Yes. I might not eat physical food in a fast. I might not drink physical or liquid in a fast, but there's some spiritual food that I can obtain when I'm fasting that I can't obtain when I'm not fasting. Am I in the right church? Yes. Yes. We need to learn. We need to learn. We need to learn how to properly deny ourselves. But let me tell you something. If you don't exercise, amen, you will never become strong. That's right. Amen. Amen. Can you this? If you don't exercise, uh, you will never accomplish your goal. It, just like the runner in a marathon, he had to practice yeah. every day. That's right. Can you this? He, yeah. he runs every day. He conditions his body every day. He denies his body every day that when the race comes, he's able to finish the race. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. First, deny yourself. And then pick up your cross and follow me daily. A lot of folks have a problem with that because we 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 don't want to we don't want to we don't want to endure pain. We 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 don't want to endure suffering. Amen. Uh, uh, we want the glitz and glamour for being a child of God, but we don't want to deal with the heartache. Uh, we don't want to deal with the tribulation. Uh, but let me tell you something. Understand the Bible says, uh, Christ says that if you suffer with me, then you can reign with me. Uh, understand that we don't want to suffer, but we want to reign. But the Bible is not a lie. Amen. God is not. And he said, God, if he say we're going to suffer, we got to suffer. But the beautiful thing about it is we're not suffering at all. Come on. Oh, bless you, yes. man. Yes, Lord. Yes. Understand yes. this, yes. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Uh, we must understand here that and see that uh, we must be stout hearted Christians. Amen. Uh, uh, now understand this, it is a we uh, reference it that a soldier be both stout hearted and well armed. Y'all don't talk to me? Yes, sir. We need to understand that in order to be stout hearted and, and well armed, it takes some conditioning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we have to understand that we have enemies to fight against, amen. A, a captain to fight for, amen. A banner, amen, to fight a mother. And, and certain rules of war by which we are to govern ourselves. Finally, my brother, uh, be strong enough. It, it yet remain uh, that you apply yourself uh, to your work and duty as a Christian soul. Yeah. Come on here, now. Yes, what are you sir. talking about, boy? Can I help y'all real quick? Yeah. Uh, we're doing this time, amen. Uh, uh, everybody's beating up Trump, amen. Yeah, yeah they're talking about him and they're saying he's crazy. But the Bible declares that if there's anyone among you who fall, amen, you who are spiritual are to go to him and what? Pray for him and restore him. Amen. We got to pray for our enemies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, see, I understand. See, Jesus didn't think like we thought he had a different way. Amen. He said, pray for them. Yes, Lord. Right. They use you. Right. Say all the matter against you. He said, if somebody slap you, turn the other cheek. Come on. Now, when some of y'all can't, can't get with this thing. Amen. He said, look at here. If they take your coat, give them the shirt. Yes, sir. So you can have all the gifts in the world, but if you ain't got love, it don't mean that he'll be. Baby, as a Christian, we got to learn to love, not with a fake love, but with a copy love. And if I love you with a copy love, you may take everything I got, but I'm still going to lift you up to the master. Yes, yes sir. My yes. Lord. Amen. My, my. Amen. Amen. You're right about it, God. Text is saying here, my brothers and sisters, don't give up. Don't give in. We must become star hearted. Amen. We must become strong in the Lord. Those who have so many battles to fight. Amen. And who, in their way, on their way to heaven, must dispute every past with, uh, with the dead, dead, and was sword. Amen. Uh, have need of a great uh, deal of courage. Amen. We got to have courage. I, I know it's our job. I've lost some loved ones in this pandemic. I've lost some friends in this pandemic. Amen. There's some people who, who have to die. Amen. But I don't question God because he's a God that we don't understand. They say the Bible says there's no searching of his understanding. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. But my job is to give him praise and glory in the midst of No, I don't understand. Yes, I heard. But I still don't trust him. Still got to teach. Still got to tell a guy, girl, that Jesus 
but because of the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Because of that yes. saving blood, because of that saturated blood, uh, I've been empowered. Once I gave my life to Him and received the Holy Spirit in my life, I have some strength that will get me through any situation. Yes, Lord. Yes. yes. Like what Paul said when he said, and this is how I get through and deal with death. Mm. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Paul said, for us to live is Christ. Yes. Talk to me somebody. Yes, yes, yes. But to die is dead. Watch this. I understand what he was saying. Because uh, the Bible declares that it's appointed unto man once to die. Can I get a witness? But I, after studying and, and after researching, I found out we really don't die. Only thing that happens is we transition from this life to the next. I wish I had a witness. Jesus died. Amen. But when he died, he took the sting out of death. And in the Lord, in the power of His might. Some of y'all missed it. I'm going to say that again because y'all out there. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Stop depending on people to bring you through. Say that again. I'm almost done. Stop leaning on people, amen, to bring you through. Come on. Because. Jesus said to the disciples and to us that greater works than these shall you do. Yes, sir. When you talk about it, man, yeah, I'm let you know, hey, amen. Jesus, what? Heal the sick. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness? Yes. Got it, my God. Jesus raised the dead. Yes, sir. Huh? Jesus fed five times. Yes. Jesus, hey, amen, healed what? Peter's mother in law. Yes, sir. Jesus stopped the funeral. Possession, amen, and woke that boy up. Yeah. Huh? Jesus went to Jerry's house, amen, and his daughter lived again. Yeah. Can I get with this? Yeah. So if he said, greater work than these I shall do, amen, yeah. uh, that means that that lets me know that he can empower me to do the same thing that he did, but on the ground and left. Come on, come on. Yeah. Hear me today. Understand, my brothers and sisters, that He's empowered us to help folk through this pandemic. Yeah, come on. Y'all better hear me today. There's some folk in this neighborhood who's counting on us to bring them out. Yes. Y'all better hear me today. Yes, sir. They said this is one of the worst neighborhoods in the city of Detroit. But baby, when God steps in, yes, sir. when the Holy Spirit takes control, he can take a mess and turn it into a Jew. I had a witness. Yeah. We need to understand. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. This is the part right here. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand in the evening. Yes. My Lord. I'm glad I'm here. Yes. Yes. Understand that God has equipped us with some armor to help us get through the rough times. In Sunshine, man, and the Red Circle, man, which was the children's ministry. I grew up in Corinthian Baptist Church over 1740 to live. I'm trying to mention that, man. Uh, 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 we used to sing a song. Uh, if you read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to pray every day, pray. If you read your Bible, pray every day, you will grow, grow, grow. Amen. If you don't read your Bible and pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. If you don't read your Bible, I'm praying today, you will. <laughs> I wish I had a witness. Those who think they were practicing us how to make it through the storm, they were equipping us with the armor of God. Understand, then they said, uh, little prayer, little power. Yes. Yeah. Medium prayer. Medium. Am I the only one from the old church? Uh -huh. Medium power. Huh? I know what you're talking about. No prayer. No power. No power. No power. No power. Can I witness? That lets me know he was equipping me because I understand now that if I pray and pray right, he's faithful and just to hear my cry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all my heart. Lean not to your own understanding. 
But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. Understand here, those who have so many battles to fight and who in their way to heaven must dispute every past. Huh? With it of sword have need of a great deal of courage. Yes, In other words, God didn't call no coward soldiers. Oh, Can I get a witness? Yes, Paul said, be strong, the therefore strong for service. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. That's why I learned to uh, shift, amen, and remove board for ministry. Can I get a witness? Because ministry means that I'm willing to serve. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a witness to bear. I understand the concept of serving. Uh, 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 he said that the greatest be the least, amen, uh, uh, and the greatest should be the chief servant, amen. I understand that as a leader in God's uh, army and in God's church, I must be the first one to win and be willing to serve. I wish y'all talk to me today. Yes, I understand the concept of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus led back down. Can I get a witness? Yes. We have to understand that we have no sufficient strength of our own. Our natural courage is as perfect uh, cowardice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our natural strength as perfect weakness. But all our sufficiency is of God. Yes. In his strength, we must, yeah, go forth and go on. Yes, sir. Even in the midst of this pandemic, yes. we must go forth and go on. Even when my loved one had to leave, I still must go forth and go on because there are those who are looking uh, at me to see how I'm going to react in the midst of trials and tribulations. Yes, and as children of God, and as leaders of God, we have to be careful how we act yes. in the midst of the people. Yes. You may not believe it, but if we fall, it'll cause a ripple effect. Yes, if we give up, it'll cause a ripple effect. Yes. Because the enemy is watching and he's got some folk here huh, who's telling them that, what, if I do this or if I do that, I promise you they're going to fall. But I'm so glad that I got a God who sits high and looks low. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. I got a God who's right there by my side. Yes. I wish I had a witness this morning. We must understand he gave us the armor of God. That's what Paul said. Uh, they must be well armed. Put on the whole armor of God. Yes. Make use of all the proper defensive and decisive and weapons for repelling the temptation and stronghold in our lives. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Watch this. Amen. Get and exercise mm. all mm. the Christian graces, the whole armor, yeah, that no part be necked mm. and exposed to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Observe those who would uh, approve themselves to have true grace must aim at all grace. Somebody said, what are you talking about, Moses? All I'm saying is amazing grace. How, how sweet the sound that, that saved the rest like me. I, I was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I understand. Uh, uh, there's grace. Yes, Lord. Therefore, it's the whole armor. Yeah, yeah. It is called the armor of God. Because he both prepares and bestows it. We have no armor of our own. That would be armor of proof in a trying time. Nothing will stand against us. Huh? Nothing will stand before us but the Lord. Yeah. Huh? Instead, but the armor of God. Yeah. The armor is prepared for us. But we must put it on huh? and stop taking it off. We must pray for grace. We must use the grace given and draw 
it out and to act and exercise itself. Can I get a witness, sir? The reason aside why the Christian should be completely honest is that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, that he may be able to hold out during this time and overcome notwithstanding all the devil or self. So understand, my brothers and sisters, the question is, now what? Yes, now what? What are you talking about, bro? Now what are you going to do in the midst of this storm? Now what are you going to do in the midst of your trials and tribulations? Now what are you going to do now that you lost your job? Come on. Yes, now what are you going to do because they came and took your car? Yeah. Now what are you going to do because they put an eviction notice on your house? Now what are you going to do because your children can't go to school? Now what are you going to do because they say you can't come to church right now? Now what are you going to do in the midst of this mess? I came to tell you today that all you got to do is keep your head here in the master's hand. Can I get a witness? Look to the heels for what comes to your help. All your help comes from the Lord. I wish y'all talked to me this morning. I was reading the Psalms and I read up on Psalms 27. Can I get a witness? And he said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be free? Yes, sir. When the wicked, even my enemy, yes. and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. And God, all right, yes. he'll keep you in the midst of the storm. Yes. He'll keep you in the midst of adversity. Yes. Can you say yeah? yeah. Say yeah. yeah. Then I flip back uh, yeah. a few pages. Uh, and David began to pen these words. Uh, the Lord uh, is my shepherd. Uh, I shall not uh, want. Uh, he makes me to lie down yes, in green pastures. He leads me uh, beside the still water. He restores my soul. Uh, he leads me uh, in the path uh, of righteousness uh, for his name's sake. Uh, yea, I said, yea, yea, though I walk uh, through the valley of the shadow of this pandemic, I will fear no evil. And y'all right? Can you say yeah? Say yeah. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me. Yes, sir. That I have his own. As long as I live. Well, trouble wise. I'm not going to worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to hasten yes, to his throne. Yes, sir. Why, folks? Because there's peace yes. at his throne. Yes, sir. Yes. There's healing yes. at the throne. Yes. There's deliverance yes. at the throne. Yes. There's joy yes, at the throne. Yes. There's understanding yes, throne. at the throne. Yes, sir. There's comfort at the throne. There's joy at the throne. There's love at the throne. Now what? At the throne. Is at the throne. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. So stand, my brothers and sisters. Stand, my brother. It ain't over yet. Yes, sir. For this is just the beginning. Yes. Because God had to use this pandemic to do some purge. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on. Have God had to use this pandemic yes. to move some people out the way. Yes. God had to use this pandemic to expose some false prophets. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God used this pandemic not only for that, but to make us stronger. Yes. Because after this pandemic, amen, yes. now we're at, amen, uh, uh, there's going to be a need for people who are strong in the Lord and can go out into these neighborhoods and compel them to come to Christ and to come back to Christ. Yes, sir. Be glory. Yes, sir. I'm telling y'all, it ain't going to be the same. Come on here, God. After this, God, God, God did this for a reason because he's equipping 
the true saints yes, sir. to go out on the battlefield. Yes. There was a shifting in the guard. Oh, come on. Because a lot of prominent, y'all missed that. Bishops and pastors and preachers had to die. Come on here. Because he was raising up some youth. youth. Yes. He was raising up some strong men yes. and women yes. to stand on the wall. Yes, sir. And what God needs even now is some men and women of God yes. who are willing to stand on the wall and not lose hope. Now what? Yes. Now what? Come on. Come on. Now what? I'm going to keep on saying it. Yes, sir. <laughs> now what? Yes, Lord. I'm going to keep on teaching. Yes, yes. Now what? I'm going to keep on preaching. Yes, sir. Yes, now what? I'm going to keep on praising. Yes, sir. Now what? I'm going to keep on worshiping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now what? I'm going to keep on compelling for the cup. Now what? Yes, I'm going to stay. Yes, sir. Because if I stay, when this life is over, yes, he's got another building made for me. Yes, sir. A building not made with him. Yes. Can I, yes. I don't know about you, but when it's all over, yes. I'm going away yes. to a place <laughs> that's been prepared for me. I'm going. I'm going. Where the wicked yes, will cease from trying. Yes, sir. And the weary will be. I'm going. Well, there'll be no more doctors. Yes, sir. I'm going for the pandemic won't exist. I, I'm going yes, sir. to be with my Savior. Yes, sir. But until then, until then, my brothers and sisters, until then, my brothers and sisters, until then, my brother, we got to stay on the wall. Yes. We got to keep being an example for a dying world. Yes. We got to let this corner here be so bright with the love of God yes. that people will stop and their lives will be changed just because they came in contact of this place. Yes. He declared that he said, let your light that I know yes, so shine before me that they may see good your good works yes. and see your good works glorify your Father yes. which is in heaven. He said, Moses, tell them that if they can do this just hold on for a little while longer. Joy is on the way. The rascal will try to find a remedy and a solution and medicine to this thing. But the medicine is already here. <laughs> All we got to do is dispense the medicine. Can I hear witness? Come on, here, All we got to do is get it. And you know what I like about God? He lets you know when you Right on mark because I don't know about you, but I know it's how the sun just begin to shine through the windows. Yes, sir. That's just saying God is pleased with us. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. He's pleased because we decided to stay after the now what? Yes. And if you hear today, if you're out there in the virtual man, in your PJs, sitting on your sofa, laying in your bed. Not with any hidden 
Genesis. But I come because I'm tired of being in suspense with the now words. So I come giving you my life totally and completely. I confess Jesus Christ to be your only begotten son. And I know in my heart that you raised him from the dead. And because I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, your word declared that I shall be saved. So from this point on, God, I know that I'm saved, saved and sanctified. I don't have to worry about the now what, because I know what the what is. So if you said that prayer, I guarantee you that you're saved. Me. Get up, my brother. Get up, my sister. And begin to give God praise. Then there may be someone out there today who don't have a church home. And you just happen to start watching the ministries of Mount Vernon Baptist Church. Sharing the word of God with you. And you found out that, that there's a place there for me. Uh, because uh, I'm in a backslidden state. Don't mean that I'm lost. So say this prayer with me. Father God, I come running back to you. I know you didn't leave me, but I left you. Just like the prodigal son, I got beside myself and went on my own. But God, I'm running back to you. Giving it all. Laying down on my face in a prostrate position. Crying unto you. Take me back. Take me back. Forgive me of my sins and trespasses. For I've sinned against you in heaven, oh God. But I'm sorry. And if you help me, I'll never do it again. And if you that prayer, get up, my brother. Get up, my sister. For you're back connected to the family of God. And there may be someone here today, out there today, who don't have a church home. But you say you gave your life to Christ, you're sanctified, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. But uh, you just don't have a church home. And all this is is a a covering, a place where I have brothers and sisters who will help me to make it through the hard times. Where I have a spiritual father who will lead and guide me and help me along. Where I have some spiritual elder brothers and sisters who will be right there for me, not to talk about me, but to lift me up to the Father. And if you need a church home, this is a good place to be. Mount Vernon Baptist Church on the corner of Burke Road. This is 125 Burke Road, amen. The phone number if you need prayer, if you need counseling, if you just need somebody to talk to, you can call this number 313 538 1355. 313 538 1355. And I promise you that if you call and don't nobody ask to leave a message with your name and your phone number. I guarantee that somebody will get right back with you and attend to your needs in the name of Jesus. Come on and give God praise. Come on, let's pray to God for those who got saved on today. Come on, let's pray to God for those who have been to do today.
Come on, give God a praise for God loves you. Just for him. Come on. It's all the time. Watch it. I found out a long time ago that you can't beat God and give it no more. I'm allowed to try. Because the more you give, the more you give back to you. Just keep on giving. Because it's really true. And you want to be a blessing to this ministry. Amen. You can do that in several ways. We have Cash App, which is dollar sign. Mount Vernon LBC Detroit. Dollar sign. Mount Vernon LBC Detroit. Or you can check us out on Gitify. Mount Vernon Missionary Baptist Church. Or you can drop it off in the mail. Address it to Mount Vernon Baptist Church, 15125, Burke Road, Detroit, Michigan, 48223. Amen. Understand, to the members out there, amen. We still have obligations. We still have bills. We still have things we must do. So if you're not a tithe or you have not been tithe, we need you to become a tithe and continue tithe that we can continue to do the work of the Lord. Watch this. The Bible says not only bring your time, but bring it off. That we're able to help somebody else who it means you might not need today, but it might be tomorrow when you'll come to the church that needs you to help. So let's be uh, generous in our giving. Come on, y'all. It's all good.